So for this problem, you're also graphing the parabola, except because of the form that it's in, finding the vertex is a lot easier, um, but you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to figure out where that center is, and this is the center. The vertex is always the center. Um, and then you're going to get two x values to the left, two x values to the right, find all the y coordinates, plot the points, and then click that graphing button, and it'll graph the parabola for you. So for the vertex, when it's in this form, is literally just picking out the information. Now, just like the transformations, you always take the opposite of what's inside the, basics, the basic function. So when I take this out, it's actually going to be negative 5. And when it's outside the basic function, you always just kept it the same sign. So this is my vertex, which means in my table, my center is going to be negative 5 and 1. Now I do need two values to the left of negative five, like negative four and negative three, and I, or those are actually to the right, and then to the left, negative six and negative seven, okay? So when I graph, or I actually need to find the y values first. So if I plug each one of these numbers into this function, um, I'm going to get, dun dun dun, I'll get four, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, 1, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, 0, negative 2, and that's 1, and 1, negative 1 squared is 1 times negative 2, I get negative 1, and negative 7. So if I graph this on the paper, I get negative 3 and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I get negative 4 and negative 1. I get negative 5 and positive 1, negative 6 and negative 1, and negative 7 and negative 7. And so then if you hit the graphing button, it'll draw the parabola like that. And it makes sense. It's downward because of the negative. It's a little bit more narrow because of the 2. Shifted to the left, 5 because of the positive 5 and then shift it up one because of the plus one. So it does match all the transformation ideas we've been learning before.